In a dramatic form, Dr. Tokwe Alokodima, who accused Governor Fauci of rigging elections in 2014 in Ekiti State, has reconciled, claiming it is for the sake of peace. A big question will be where does this leave the damning revelation and the future of the political, his political career and affiliations in Ekiti State? That's the focus on the program. We're glad to have you join us, everyone. And this is Politics Today on Channels Television, the nation's news leader. We are reaching you live from our global headquarters in Lagos. I'm Shiongo Kimbale. What an interesting scenario playing out in the politics of Ekiti State. What may be her face uh, in a dramatic unfolding of the post-2014 Ekiti governorship election. It is a bumper episode of the program, but let me bring you up to speed with some of the latest in your world of politics. Now, political roundup on Channel's television. Here yeah, are your top political stories this time. It appears the People's Democratic Party is not stopping in its efforts at getting back to prominence come 2019. The party's leadership, led by the national chairman, Senator Ali Modu Sharif, has constituted four special committees in preparation for the party's national convention and for the overall rebuilding and repositioning of the party. The committees include the National Convention Committee, which has the River State Governor Nyasabwike as chairman, the Reconciliation Committee with the Bayelsa State Governor, Siraki Dixon, as chairman, also is the Zoning Committee with the Akwaibom State Governor, Emmanuel Udom, as chairman. The Borno State Governor, Kashim Shatima, has commended the Buhari-led APC federal government for stabilizing the Northeast and maintaining peace in the region with the recent successes of the military in winning the battle against insurgents. The Borno State Governor, who led some other APC governors on a visit to Imo State Government House in Ore, the Imo State capital, southeast of Nigeria, spoke about the issues facing the nation as regards the current fuel situation and economic challenges and called on all Nigerians to be patient with the APC-led federal government to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people, even amidst all the economic challenges facing the country. All these temporary hiccups that we are experiencing pertaining to fuel scarcity and so will soon be over. As that was happening in Ore, some leaders of the APC are meeting in Lagos State. Some of the top APC leaders, including the former governor of Lagos State, Ashiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunubu, and Bisi Akonde, a former Oshun State governor, governors of Oyo and Oshun States, were also present while the deputy governor of Lagos State, Oluranti Adebule, represented Governor Akimumi Yambode. The leaders of the APC are meeting at the home of the former Ogun State Governor, Chief Shegun Oshoba, where he was received back into their fold after he left a few years ago for the Social Democratic Party, SDP. Chief Shegun Oshoba was a founding member of the defunct Action Congress of Nigeria, which metamorphosed into the APC, which merged with some other political parties. Your Excellency, sir. Yeah. So you are back in APC, sir. Fully. We have, uh, you know, internal review of our organization and there are things that we have to plan. And the former vice presidential candidate of the defunct Congress for Progressive Change, CPC, and the pastor of the latter Rain Assembly, Pastor Tunde Bakare, has been speaking about the way forward for the nation. Pastor Bakare at the State of the Nation address gives insight into ways the Buhari-led government needs to go. Now, all that is required to give Nigeria a national rebirth is the political will of a president who enjoys a great deal of respect from the Nigerian people, including those who do not support him. And you're up to date. Those are your top political stories you need to know. And since you are up to date with some of your top political stories that we are following right here, welcome back on the program. Well, what we're following right now is the issue of the AKT gate. It all started when we interviewed the former secretary 
of the PDP in Equity State, Dr. Tokpi Aluko, on our Sunday edition of the program. Dr. Tokpi Aluko gave some damning revelations about how he said the Equity election was rigged and how the military uh, manipulated or were manipulated for the exercise. That interview generated a lot of controversy. For some who did not catch the episode of the last day of January 2016, I will give you a few minutes uh, to see some of the excerpts. But first, the Dr. Aluko's revelation, first of all, were uh, mainly about how the military was manipulated. Take a listen. Please tell me, one would be wondering when you talked about the, how the military uh, was used in, the, in this exercise. Do, do, does this actually affect the thumb, uh, the thumb printing and the vote cast? It didn't actually stop people from coming out to vote for fire, they did it. Let me tell you what happened. Um, there was a small riot mid-May in, uh, in Yekiti, my hometown. And uh, I think Governor Fayemi then called in uh, the military from Akure to quell the riot. And it was, it was at that point that we, are, we realized that we did not, our plans were not going to work out well, and we did not have the control of the military. That was why we petitioned uh, Brigade General Diko to move, so as to be able to move him away from Akure. And we now replaced him with a more amendable Brigade General. And that was... The